So Benjamin had a sum of money. He spent $288 on a watch. And from the amount remaining, 3 eighths of the remainder he spent on the belt. So 3 eighths spent on the belt, he had 5 eighths remaining. All right. So in the end, he had 2 fifths of his money left in the end. So from here, we know that out of the original amount of money, 2 fifths of the original amount of money will be equal to 5 eighths of what was left here. All right. So 2 fifths of the original amount of money is equal to 5 eighths of the amount of money left. So we can match the numerator. 2 and 5, we'll match it into 10. So from here, we'll have 10 over 25 of the original amount is equal to 10 over 16 of the amount left. So we can see that from the denominator, that in total, there were 25 units of money at first and 16 units left in the remaining portion. So at first he had 25 units and remainder he had 16 units. So that also means that if he had 16 units left, the amount he spent on the watch would have been 9 units since he had 25 units in total. All right. So the fraction of money he spent on the watch will be 9 units out of 25 units. So that's our answer for part A. Part B, how much money did he have at first? So if two hundred and eighty eight dollars is nine units, all right, to find twenty five units, which is the amount he had at first in total, there will be two hundred and eighty eight dividing by nine and then multiplying by twenty five. So that will give us our answer for part B, which is eight hundred dollars.